Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Isn't it hot? Aye, it is. You have a lot to carry on such a sunny day. I'll be all right, Mrs Goggins. Oh, and there's a special delivery for Adji. Hmm, I wonder what's in it. Children's... Mum, Mum, uh, Mum, Mum, is there any ice cream? We're ever so hot. <laughs> no, darlings, not now. I'm too busy. And ice creams are for special treats anyway. Oh, oh Mum! Uh, sorry, but I'm sorting through all this clothing for the charity sale. Nisha's expecting it before lunchtime. Now, where's that other bag? Come on, Tom. Let's help Mum tidy up. Surprise! Oh no, I just sorted all that out. I'll have to start again now. Oh, I'm sorry, darlings. I know you were trying to help, but this is a job for grown ups, not children. But, Mum! Now off you go and let me get on. <sighs> I bet other people would be really pleased if we went and helped them. Yeah! Come on! Ugh! This scarf smells of sheep. Come on, come on. Morning, Alf. Everything all right? Morning, Pat. Nay, me neck's all cold. Really? But it's a hot day. Aye, but there's a wind up here, Pat. I haven't got my scarf, see. Dorothy gave it to the charity sale. Oh, dear. Well, I hope the wind dies down. <coughs> See you later. <coughs> Thanks, Pat. Bye. Right, there's just Rosie to feed and then I've finished. Now, oh, where's she gone? Oh, aye. Uh, can you hold this steady? Yeah. Up a bit. <sighs> no, up. Oh. Up. Oh. oh, no. <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Glenn. It's all right. I think you have to be a bit bigger before you can help with this sort of thing. That's what Mum says. Oh, before I forget, can you give this to your mum? I said she could have it for the charity sale. Yes. Thanks, Ted. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> hey, oh, looks like Rosie's escaped again. 
What's she got there? Hey! Rosie! Come on! <laughs> Morning, Amy. Parcel for you. Hello, Pat. Thanks. Oh, great! My new sunglasses. Oh! My old ones were really scratched. What do you think? Very nice. Bye, Amy. Bye, Pat. What are you doing, Ajay? Mending train, Tom. But I'm waiting for a spare part to come in post. Can we help? Aye, if you like. You can pass me that big wrench, please. Um... No. That's pliers. The wrench. No. Not the screwdriver. No. That's... That's the big... Oh, oh no! No, no! You leave them there. It's dangerous for children to go on their track. I'll get them. Sorry, Ajay. Hey, don't worry. It's my fault. Mending engines is for grown-ups. Yeah. We should have known. <sighs> ah, there you are, Pat. Have you got a parcel for me? Meow. It's the spare part for the rocket. Yes, I... That's funny. Where's it gone? It was there earlier. I've lost it. Oh, no. The rocket won't go without that new part, Matt. Oh, it's not fair. Why doesn't anyone want us to help? It's because we're too small. Look. Huh? There's Rosie. She must have escaped again. Let's catch her. At least that'd be helping. Rosie! Ow! Oh, I bet that was another job for grown-ups. Hi there, you two. Do you want to come and help? Yes, please. What shall we do? Well, you can fill Pumpkin's water bucket if you like. OK. Never mind. Perhaps that was grown-up work. Why don't you come and stroke Pumpkin instead? He loves that. Everyone treats us as if we're just kids. OK, kids. I've got to go on my rounds now. But you're welcome to stay a while with Pumpkin if you like. Bye. Bye, Thanks, Amy. Amy. <laughs> Hey, look at these. They must have been thrown away. <laughs> you look really grown up. Hey, I've got an idea. What? See? Now we look like a grown up. I can't see anything from in here. Now we're a grown-up, we're big enough to help. Or make rude noises. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't be silly. Or we could eat whatever we like. Hey, yeah! I know! Let's go to the cafe and have ice creams. Mum says ice creams are for special treats. She'll never know. Anyway, it's all right if you're a grown-up. OK. Come on. Oh. Bye, Pumpkin. Seen anything, Jess? Meow. Oh, where can it be? There's Rosie again. What's she got? Rosie? What was that? 
Something fell down there. It sounded like metal. Well, I'm not getting it. It's probably full of spiders. Come on, let's get the ice cream. Morning. Lovely day. Yes. Sunny. Pardon? Uh, Sunny. Sorry, in the hurry. Oh, right then. Nice coat. Just like the one I used to have. Morning. That's a nice scarf you've got there. Thank you. I had one like that myself, but it... Uh, uh, oh, oh, bye, bye. Hello, Alf. You didn't find a small parcel up at Thompson Ground, did you? Nay, nay. Sorry, Pat. Oh, dear. Bye, Pat. It's no good. I've looked everywhere. It's just disappeared. Oh, dear. I won't be able to mend the rocket without it. I wonder if that gentleman's seen it. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah? Uh, yes? You haven't seen a small parcel lying around anywhere, have you? Uh, uh. Rosie was eating a parcel earlier. That must have been it. Oh, yeah. Uh, over there. Um, over there? Can you show me? Uh, yeah. Was his tummy just making funny noises, Pat? Meow. I think it was, Ajay. And I think I know why. Here we are. Is this it? Yes. Did the parcel fall in there? Yes. Right. I can't reach it. My arm's too big to fit. Here, let me try. My arm won't fit either. This is terrible, Pat. If we can't get that part, I won't be able to mend the rocket. If only there was someone here with smaller arms. Perhaps they could reach down and get it. Tom, we've got to help. But we'll be found out. I know, but it's the grown-up thing to do. Tom? Katie? Huh. <laughs> Hello, you two. Hello, Pat. We'll help you. Watch out for spiders. Ooh. Got it! <gasps> I got it! Ah, oh, thank you, Katie. Now I can mend the rocket. Well done, you two. Now, why were you in this funny disguise? We wanted to help people, but everyone kept saying we had to be grown up. But then we were... We decided to have some ice cream at the cafe instead. Well, you were very helpful to Ajay today, weren't you? Yes. And you didn't have to be big to do it, did you? No. So maybe being twin size isn't so bad after all, eh? No. I think I like being the way I am. Me too. With Katie on your shoulders, being grown up is really hard work. Come on. Let's get you to those ice creams. Meow, meow. This lot should keep me busy today. Oh, don't forget this one, Pat. Special delivery for Ajay. It looks very important. Special delivery, <coughs> eh? I'd better take that one round straight away. Come on, Jess. <coughs> Bye, Mrs Goggins. Oh, uh, <coughs> Bye, Pat. 
Morning, RJ. Ooh. <clears throat> oh. Letter for you. I'll be waiting for this. The original documents for the Greendale rocket. It says here the rocket was made exactly 100 years ago today. It's your birthday, old girl. A hundred years old, eh? That calls for a celebration. You can invite everyone here. Have a birthday picnic on the platform. Hey, Pat. I don't know. Look at this mess. And I'm running a busy service to Pancaster today. I won't have time to clean up, let alone organise a picnic. Don't worry, Ajay. When people find out it's the Rocket's 100th birthday, they'll all want to help out. Tell you what, I'll ask everyone on my round to bring something for the picnic with them. Do you think that would work? Of course. It'll be a potluck picnic. Everyone brings something and we all share. A potluck picnic just for you. Thank you, Pat. That's right, Mira. There are lots of different kinds of celebration. Anniversaries, Christmas, Diwali, birthdays. Now, what do you need for a good party? Balloons and cakes. I wonder what we can bring to the picnic, Jess. Wow. Anything else you'd like in a celebration? What about party games? That's a good one, Julian. And my dad really loves fireworks. Oh, fireworks? 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 Yes, oh, yes. Yes. fireworks, eh? That gives me an idea. Looks like that's all we've got time for today, children. Oh, hello, Pat. Is that for me? Talking of celebrations, Jeff, can I speak to the children? Way well, be my guest, Pat. Children, Pat has something to say. Today is a very special birthday. The Greendale rocket is 100 years old. <gasps> and I thought we could have a big picnic at the station to celebrate it, with everyone bringing something different to eat. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, how about a great big fruit salad? Well, that's a good idea, Sarah. Mmm, with bananas. And apples. I know. Ted's still got that food chopping machine out at the water mill. I could pick it up on my round and drop it off here later. With that, let me champion. Come on, we'd better start collecting that fruit if we're going to have a fruit salad. Cool! Yeah! yeah. 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 A picnic? Oh, how lovely. We, we could, could make, make a, a lemon cake. cake. A, a big shape. square one. <laughs> <laughs> How about you make two cakes? Plenty for everyone. Good idea, Ajay. <laughs> Oops. I'd better take the rocket to Pencaster. We'll be running late otherwise. See you later. Bye, uh, Ajay. Aye, I'd love to take some it along. What are you bringing, Pat? Something really special for Ajay and the rocket. A fireworks display. Do you know where I could get some from? There's a shop in Pencaster sells them. But how am I going to get to Pencaster and back in time to deliver all this post? You don't have to. I've got plenty of fireworks left over from the party we had last year. I could set up the display if you like. That'd be grand, Ted. Oh yes, and, and can the children borrow your fruit chopping machine? Course they can. I'll dust down my ice cream maker as well and make some of my special ice cream. Mmm. I'll ask the children to get some extra fruit for you to put in it. Well, then I just need to come up with a plan for the firework display. Now we just have to ice them. Oh! Maybe we better start again, huh? <laughs> Good idea. 
Of course I'll bring something. Um, how about some of my homemade cheeses? That'd be grand, Julia. See you at the station later. Bye, Pat. A potluck picnic. Oh, lovely. Can we have some fruit, Mum? For the fruit salad? Of course you can, love. There's loads of apples in the orchard. Why don't you all go and see what you can find? Thanks, Thanks Mrs Thompson. Thompson. Oh, 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 Salad with all these. Let's take this lot back to the school and get started. Hello there. You all look very busy. Hello, Bob. We're getting apples for a fruit salad for the picnic. Picnic, you say? It's Pat's idea to celebrate 100 years of the Greendale rocket. Well, that is worth celebrating, I must say. If I could have a few of those apples of yours, I'd make some apple turnovers. Way that'd be champion, Doctor. Here you are, Dr Gilbertson. Thank you, Mira. See you all later. Bye, Bob. Bye-bye. Finished at last. Come on, Jess. Let's get this chopping machine over to the school. Chopping machine. Well done, Dad. Well, that's going to save us a lot of work. Thanks, Pat. Come on, children. We've got a lot of fruit to get chopped up. Do you think you could spare a bit? Ted's planning on making some ice cream to bring along. Have some blackberries. And cherries. And apples. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Ted will make loads of ice cream with this little lot. What are you bringing to the picnic, Dad? Let's just say that Ted and I are planning a special surprise. <gasps> Thanks for the fruit, everyone. All done. Now to sort out the fireworks. Mustn't forget a big bucket of water for safety. <laughs> Wait here, Jess. Meow. I've got the fruit, Ted. Wow, look at those rockets. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, Pat. My heck, heavy stuff, water. Watch out, Ooh. Ted. Ooh. Mind the... Fireworks. Oh, no. Soaking wet. They'll never work now. I'm sorry, Pat. Never mind, Ted. It was an accident. But what about the display? Hmm. Can I borrow your phone? I'll try that firework shop in Pencaster. Aye, uh, it's just inside. It's all sorted. Ajay can pick them up from Pencaster Station on his final run in the rocket. Won't it spoil the surprise if Ajay sees the fireworks? The shop said they'd wrap them up and leave them at Pencaster Station for him. That way, he won't know what he's collecting. Good thinking, Pat. See you later. Cheerio. With everyone doing something, this potluck picnic is going to be quite an event, eh, Jess? Hey. One more trip to Bencaster and I'm finished. 
I told you we'd get it done in time. Got to pick up a special delivery on the way back. They said it was really important. Don't know why. Well, we'd better not keep you if it's important, eh, Jess? Well? Bye! They both look nice, but... Oh. I know what you mean. What's the matter? Oh, Pat. We've got two lovely cakes, but neither of them looks right for the Rocket's birthday party. Which one do you think we should use? Well, er... Uh, yes? I think perhaps... Hmm? <sighs> if you use them both, they look just like... The, the Greendale, Greendale Rocket. Rocket! Oh, Pat, that's a great idea. Come on, let's finish the icing. Thanks, Pat. Surprises. I don't know. Listen, here comes your dad. Well, I must say this is quite a celebration. Thank you, Pat. Last job of the day, and it's for you. What is it, Pat? You'll see, Ajay. You'll see. I'd just like to thank everyone for their contributions to the delicious potluck picnic. And as a special present for Ajay and the Greendale Rocket... Ted, are you ready? Aye, Pat. Here we go. Here you go, Ajay. Rockets for the Rocket. Board for Fancaster. Are you sure you'll be all right while I'm gone? Oh, I think we'll cope. It's only for one night, Mum. I know, but... Off you go, love. Have a great time. And say hello to Auntie Vicky. <laughs> See you tomorrow, love. Bye, Mum. Bye. Don't be late for school, Julian. And don't forget to make your packed lunch before you go. Don't worry, Mum. We won't forget anything. <gasps> Dad? Yeah? What's up? I've forgotten my keys. <gasps> We're locked out of the house. <clears throat> Hello, buddy. Have you finished your breakfast? <clears throat> What's the matter? You're not still hungry. <laughs> Let's go outside and check your bowl. Perhaps you don't like your new dog food. What are we going to do? There's got to be some way we can get in. I must have forgotten to close all the windows this morning. Just as well you did, Dad. If Jess can get in, so can I. Oh, you've eaten every scrap. I'm not giving you any more, Bonnie. One breakfast is quite enough for a little dog like you. Mmm. I love peanut butter. I don't know how you can eat this stuff. I'm a cheese and pickle man myself. Come on, Dad. Mum told us not to be late. Oh, now where did I put those keys? Here they are, Dad. <laughs> what would I do without you, eh? Come on, I'll drop you off at school on my way to the post office. Meow. 
What's up, Jess? Julian! Well, meow. Hurry up, Julian. It's nearly nine o'clock. Sorry, Mr Pringle. Bye, Dad. Sorry, Jeff. Sarah's away for the night and we're running a bit late this morning. Got a dash. Bye. No problem, Pat. Bye. Morning, Mrs Goggins. Sorry I'm late. Yeah. Oh, dear. Are you planning to send Bonnie as a parcel? Oh, no, Pat. But I am a bit uh -huh. worried about her. She's lost weight. Uh -huh. Really? Well, she seems lively enough. Why don't you get Amy to have a look at her? We could give you a lift if you like. Oh, thank you, Pat. That's very kind. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with Bonnie. But she certainly has lost weight. Is she eating normally? Well, that's what's so strange, Amy. She ate every scrap of her breakfast this morning and then came in begging for more. Hmm, that is odd. Give us some more food at lunchtime and see how she gets on. I'll call by later to check how she is. Thanks, Amy. I'll do just that. That's the lot for now, Jess. Meow. Time for lunch. Oh, peanut butter. I must have picked up Julian's lunchbox by mistake. Which means that he must have got... Cheese and pickle. Ugh! Oh, yuck! Oh, well, I suppose we'd better head back to the post office then. Yeah. I wonder how Bonnie's getting along. There you go, Bonnie. You'll never be hungry after that lot. Hello, Mrs Goggins. How's the patient? She seems fine, Pat, but... Oh, Bonnie! <gasps> well, I never. A hedgehog. So that's why you're so hungry. A wee hedgehog's been pinching your food. I'd better call Amy. A hedgehog? Well, that explains why Bonnie was losing weight. But we should take him out to the countryside, Pat. Do you think you can catch him? We'll certainly give it a try, Amy. What should we do? Get a cardboard box with lots of fresh straw and air holes and try and tempt him inside. We could use some of Bonnie's dog food. He certainly seems to like that. Good idea, Pat. I'll be over as soon as I've finished work and we'll drive him out to the country. Good luck. Thanks, Amy. Bye. Now, all we've got to do is wait. I don't think the hedgehog's very hungry. Not after all that. Pat. What? Look. There. Quick, before he gets away. Got him. Hello, Pat. Is this our hedgehog? Oh, he's a sweet wee thing, isn't he? I wish he could stay in my garden. I know, it's a shame. But he'd be better off in the country. Come on, Mr Hedgehog. Let's take you back where you belong. Here he 
he comes. Come on, Pat. I'll drop you off back at the post office. Eggs. Dad found a hedgehog in Mrs Goggins' garden. He was eating Bonnie's dog food. Oh, where are they? No, Mum, we're fine. Aha! Ooh. Oh, no. No, Jess. Leave it. Leave it, Jess. No, nothing's wrong. Dad's just, um... Oh. Making pancakes. Oh. Nothing. I told you, Mum. We're coping fine on our own, aren't we, Dad? And they all lived happily ever after. Ooh, what a day, eh, Julian? I'm about ready to go to bed myself. Julian? Night, night, Julian. Dad? Yes? Do you miss Mum? Yes, I do, Julian. Still, we mustn't be sad. She'll be home tomorrow. I know, Dad. I can't wait. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Morning, Pat. Hello, Julian. Helping your dad today? Just till Mum gets back. <coughs> Don't tell me you're hungry again, Bonnie. Come on, Jess. Let's go and see if Bonnie's eaten her breakfast. <coughs> Stop it, Bonnie. There's no hedgehog to eat your food now. Dad, quick. You'll never guess what we found in Mrs. Goggins' garden. <coughs> Oh. oh, so he is a she. <laughs> she's a mummy hedgehog. And she's come back for her babies. I'd better call Amy again. Well, Pat, if our hedgehog's got babies, we mustn't move her again. They'll have to stay in Mrs. Goggin's garden. I know. We could build a special hedgehog house to keep them safe. Finished. We make a good team. Yeah, at least there are some things we can do without Mum's help. <laughs> yes, some. Come on, yeah. let's get this to the post office. Oh, it's perfect, Pat. Oh, I'm really impressed. Thanks, Amy. I couldn't have done it on my own. Now all we have to do is wait and see what our hedgehogs think of their new home. Look! They like it. <laughs> they certainly do. Hey, Mum's train will be arriving any minute. We'd better go and meet her. Oh, yeah. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Amy. Bye-bye, hedgehogs. Bye, you two. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Goggins. <laughs> Greendale! Greendale! All tickets for Greendale! There she is! Mum, we've got something to show you. <laughs> and she came all the way back to Greendale to find her babies, didn't she, Dad? Poor Mrs Hedgehog. I know just how she felt. I missed my baby too. 
Mm. Oh, Mum. Well, it's all turned out for the best. The hedgehogs have got a lovely new home and Bonnie can eat her dinner in peace. This lot should keep me busy today. Oh, don't forget this one, Pat. Special delivery for Ajay. It looks very important. Special delivery, <coughs> eh? I'd better take that one round straight away. Come on, Jess. <coughs> Bye, Mrs Goggins. Oh, uh, Bye, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Ooh. <clears throat> oh. Letter for you. I'll be waiting for this. The original documents for the Greendale rocket. It says here the rocket was made exactly 100 years ago today. It's your birthday, old girl. A hundred years old, eh? That calls for a celebration. You can invite everyone here. Have a birthday picnic on the platform. Hey, Pat. I don't know. Look at this mess. And I'm running a busy service to Pancaster today. I won't have time to clean up, let alone organise a picnic. Don't worry, Ajay. When people find out it's the Rocket's hundredth birthday, They'll all want to help out. Tell you what, I'll ask everyone on my round to bring something for the picnic with them. Do you think that would work? Of course. It'll be a potluck picnic. Everyone brings something and we all share. A potluck picnic just for you. Thank you, Pat. That's right, Mira. There are lots of different kinds of celebration. Anniversaries, Christmas, Diwali, birthdays. Now, what do you need for a good party? Balloons and cakes. I wonder what we can bring to the picnic, Jess. Wow. Anything else you'd like in a celebration? What about party games? That's a good one, Julian. And my dad really loves fireworks. Oh, fireworks? 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 Yes. Oh, yes. fireworks? fireworks, eh? That gives me an idea. Looks like that's all we've got time for today, children. Oh, hello, Pat. Is that for me? Talking of celebrations, Jeff, can I speak to the children? Wait, be my guest, Pat. Children, Pat has something to say. Today is a very special birthday. The Greendale Rocket is 100 years old. <gasps> and I thought we could have a big picnic at the station to celebrate it, with everyone bringing something different to eat. Mr Prego, Mr Prego, how about a great big fruit salad? Well, that's a good idea, Sarah. Mmm, with bananas. And apples. I know. Ted's still got that food chopping machine out at the water mill. I could pick it up on my round and drop it off here later. With that, let me champion. Come on, we'd better start collecting that fruit if we're going to have a fruit salad. Cool! Yeah. 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 A picnic? Oh, how lovely. We, we could, could make, make a, a lemon cake. cake. A, a big shape. square one. <laughs> <laughs> How about you make two cakes? Plenty for everyone. Good idea, Ajay. <laughs> Oops. I better take the rocket to Pencaster. We'll be running late otherwise. See you later. Bye, Bye Ajay. Now. Aye, I'd love to take some of it along. What are you bringing, Pat? Something really special for Ajay and the rocket. 
a fireworks display. Do you know where I could get some from? There's a shop in Pencaster sells them. But how am I going to get to Pencaster and back in time to deliver all this post? You don't have to. I've got plenty of fireworks left over from the party we had last year. I could set up the display if you like. That'd be grand, Ted. Oh yes, and, and can the children borrow your fruit chopping machine? Course they can. I'll dust down my ice cream maker as well and make some of me special ice cream. Mmm. I'll ask the children to get some extra fruit for you to put in it. Well, then I just need to come up with a plan for the firework display. Now we just have to ice them. Oh! Maybe we better start again, huh? <laughs> Good idea. Of course I'll bring something. Um, how about some of my homemade cheeses? That'd be grand, Julia. See you at the station later. Bye, Pat. A potluck picnic. Oh, lovely. Can we have some fruit, Mum? For the fruit salad? Of course you can, love. There's loads of apples in the orchard. Why don't you all go and see what you can find? Thanks, Thank Mrs. Thompson. Thompson. Ooh. 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 Oh, we can make heaps of fruit salad with all these. Let's take this lot back to the school and get started. Hello there. You all look very busy. Hello, Bob. We're getting apples for a fruit salad for the picnic. Picnic, you say? It's Pat's idea. To celebrate 100 years of the Greendale rocket. Well, that is worth celebrating, I must say. If I could have a few of those apples of yours, I'd make some apple turnovers. Way that'd be champion, Doctor. Here you are, Dr Gilbertson. Thank you, Mira. See you all later. Bye, Bob. Bye-bye. Finished at last. Come on, Jess. Let's get this chopping machine over to the school. Chopping machine. Well done, Dad. Well, that's going to save us a lot of work. Thanks, Pat. Come on, children. We've got a lot of fruit to get chopped up. Do you think you could spare a bit? Ted's planning on making some ice cream to bring along. Have some blackberries. And cherries. And apples. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Ted will make loads of ice cream with this little lot. What are you bringing to the picnic, Dad? Let's just say that Ted and I are planning a special surprise. <gasps> Thanks for the fruit, everyone. All done. Now to sort out the fireworks. Mustn't forget a big bucket of water for safety. Boom, 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 boom. Wait here, Jess. Meow. I've got the fruit, Ted. Wow, look at those rockets. Ooh, ooh. Thanks, Pat. My heck, heavy stuff, water. Watch out, ooh, Ted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mind the... Fireworks. Oh, no. Soaking wet. They'll never work now. I'm sorry, Pat. Never mind, Ted. It was an accident. But what about the display? Hmm. Can I borrow your phone? I'll try that firework shop in Pencaster. Aye, uh, it's just inside. It's all sorted. 
Ajay can pick them up from Pencaster Station on his final run in the rocket. Won't it spoil the surprise if Ajay sees the fireworks? The shop said they'd wrap them up and leave them at Pencaster Station for him. That way, he won't know what he's collecting. Good thinking, Pat. See you later. Cheerio. With everyone doing something, this potluck picnic is going to be quite an event, eh, Jess? Hey. Just one more trip to Bancaster and I'm finished. I told you we'd get it done in time. Got to pick up a special delivery on the way back. They said it was really important. Don't know why. Well, we'd better not keep you if it's important, eh, Jess? Well? Bye. They both look nice, but... <sighs> I know what you mean. What's the matter? Oh, Pat, we've got two lovely cakes, but neither of them looks right for the rocket's birthday party. Which one do you think we should use? Well, er... Uh, yes? I think perhaps... Hmm? <sighs> if you use them both, they look just like... Greendale rocket. rocket! Oh, Pat, that's a great idea. Come on, let's finish the icing. Thanks, Pat. I wonder what Pat surprises. I don't know. Listen, here comes your dad. Well, I must say this is quite a celebration. Thank you, Pat. Last job of the day, and it's for you. What is it, Pat? You'll see, Ajay. You'll see. I'd just like to thank everyone for their contributions to the delicious potluck picnic. And as a special present for Ajay and the Greendale rocket... Ted, are you ready? Aye, Pat. Here we go. Here you go, Ajay. Rockets for the rocket. That's the lot then, Jess. Off we go. Oh, Pat, wait. Uh, I forgot to give you this parcel. It's for Ted Glenn. Oh, thanks, Mrs Goggins. Funny shape, isn't it? Meow. Oh. Goodness me, Pat. Was that you? No, it certainly was not. It was that parcel of Ted's. Whatever can it be? <laughs> no idea. We'll have to wait till Ted opens it. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. Look very happy, do they, Mum? No, I'm afraid they don't. 
Oh dear. They haven't been giving much milk, and they do seem a bit poorly. I'd better see if Amy can have a look at them. Poor cows. Hello, Pat. Morning, Dr Gilbertson. Oh, hello, Reverend. How are you today? All the better for a nice cup of tea, thank you, Pat. Here are your letters, Doctor. And there's a package for you as well. Um, is your tummy poorly, Pat? No, Doctor. It wasn't me. It's this parcel of Ted's. It's making some very strange noises. Oh, I see. What on earth would make noises like that? I don't know, but I can't wait to get to Ted's and find out. Bye. Bye, Bye Pat. Pat. Strange sounds indeed. More tea, Vicar. This should do the trick for Alf and Dorothy. I just hope Pat's got that parcel for me today so I can get it finished. <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. That parcel can't hurt you. What do you think, Amy? Well, I can't find anything wrong with them. They just seem rather miserable. Oh dear, what can be the matter? Maybe they're bored, Mum. I don't think cows can get bored, can they, Amy? <laughs> Not really, no. They're usually very happy just being out in the fields. They are bored, Katie. I'm sure they are. Yeah. <gasps> Come on. I've got an idea. Go on now, you sheep. Get away with you. Shoo! Shoo! Will you look at that, Dorothy? They've started on me broccoli now. Oh, dear. Hello. What's going on here, then? Oh, Pat. We're in such a pickle. The sheep have taken a liking to our green vegetables, Pat. Yeah, see what you mean. <gasps> oh, no. Shoo! Leave my cabbages alone, you naughty sheep. What are you going to do? Ted's inventing summit to help. He'll be along in a bit. I'd better get over to Ted's now, then. I've got a very noisy parcel to give him. Good luck with your vegetables. Thanks, Pat. Hey, up, what's that? Oh, it's you, Pat. You don't sound too good. <laughs> it's not me, Ted. It's this parcel of yours. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, what's in there? It's been scaring poor Jess all morning. Meow. What's in here, Pat, is a set of bagpipes. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I can't. They're for me Ted Glenn automatic sheep disperser. Watch. Hmm. The sheep go into the vegetable patch. They like the look of this juicy giant cabbage and move towards it. Meow. They step on these bellows and... <laughs> the sheep will run away and Alf and Dorothy's vegetables will be saved. <laughs> That's amazing, Ted. Well done. Thanks, Pat. I'd better get this down to Thompson Ground right away. Good luck. Bye. Go on. You start. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, I'll do it. <clears throat> Good morning, cows. 
this is your lucky day. Just for you, Tom and I would like to perform the exciting story of Little Red Riding Hood with puppets. I'm going to take this basket of cakes to Grandma, Daddy. Be careful in the forest, Little Red Riding Hood. Don't stop and talk to any big bad wolves. I won't, Daddy. See you later. Mwah! I don't think they liked it. Shh! Oh, it's very dark in this forest. Hello, little girl. What have you got in your basket? Are you a big bad wolf? Yes. Then I'm not allowed to talk to you. Go away. No, no, not you. I was talking to the big bad wolf. It's no good, Katie. I just don't think they enjoy theatre. I knew we should have done Cinderella. Oh, wow. That one's just had me best beat root. Come on, kid. We'll have no vegetables left at this rate. Don't worry. Nearly there. And if this doesn't do the trick, I'll eat me hat. There. The cows are going to love our skateboard tricks. Yeah. Come on, cows. Come and watch this. You go first, Tom. Ta -da! I think she liked it. Let's see what she thinks of your stunt then. Did you enjoy that? Oh. Huh. Honestly, I don't know why we bother, Tom. Those cows are just cranky. Hello, Katie. Hello, Tom. Oh, hello, hello, Pat. Pat. I hear you've been trying to cheer these cows up. They don't want to be cheered up. No. They're just cranky cows. They certainly don't look too happy. What on earth's that terrible noise? <laughs> That's the Ted Glen automatic sheep disperser. Ted's using bagpipes to scare the sheep away from the Thompson's vegetable patch. Our cows don't look scared. You're right, Tom. Hmm, I wonder. What is it, Pat? I've just had an idea. I'll be back soon. Oh, they're not scared at all. I just don't understand it. We'd better start eating that out of yours, Ted. Those birds come from. Oh, heck. It's attracting them, not scaring them off. Ted? Alf? How's it going? Oh, it's a disaster, Pat. Oh, dear. Ted, can I borrow your bagpipes just for a short while? You can take them away for good. Thanks. Bye. And hopefully you'll take the crows with you and all. I was sure those bagpipes would do the trick. <coughs> well, I never. Oh, your invention worked after all. You just needed a different sound, Ted. Hmm. <gasps> Here he comes. 
What's that funny thing? Bagpipes. They're a musical instrument from Scotland. What's this good idea of yours then, Pat? Well, I noticed your cows seem to like Ted's bagpipe sounds. And I thought maybe they were missing their home in Scotland. It might cheer them up to hear some Scottish music. I didn't know you could play the bagpipes. I'm not sure I can, but I'll give it a go. <coughs> Here goes, then. Pat's making rude noises. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice, Pat. Look at the cows. They love your music, Pat. <sighs> Thank you. I think you were right, Pat. The cows were homesick for Scotland. And the bagpipes made them feel better. I'll pop in every now and again and give them a tune. Will you play some more now, Pat? Of course I will. I think even Jess likes the bagpipes now, don't you, Jess? Meow. <laughs> <laughs>